Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me uh, about this look. My hair looks like a mess, please ignore it. Um, if you guys want to see how I did this look and listen to me ramble for a little bit, then keep on watching. So, to start off, I'm going to be using this NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. I've never actually done a chit chat get ready with me before. I've always wanted to, but I've always felt like I was never going to have enough to say, so it's just going to be me fumbling around awkwardly which honestly is most of my videos, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so next I'm gonna be taking this Firm It Up Eye Serum from Benefit because it really makes my eyes look awake. Like, and I think it's working when I don't have it on too. Like, I mean, I think it's just making my eyes look a lot less puffy and more vibrant um, than usual. Um, you know, especially today, I just feel like I don't look really tired, but that could be because I got 10 hours of sleep last night, or probably more than that, honestly, because I went to bed early with a raging headache. It was not fun at all. And next, I'm going to take this primer from e.l.f. It's got like a sealer that I don't ever use, obviously. Um, it's a, oh, okay, that's why. It's a twist off, not a pull off. Okay, um, it's like a sealer for um, eyeliner. Not sure how well that works because I've never used it because I just have the inability to do eyeliner correctly. Now, I guess. I don't know what happened. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna put that all over my eyelid. And then, blend it together. Alright. Oh, no! It's okay, it was just the primer. And I always start off, well I usually start off with a white eyeshadow, so I'm going to be using the NYX Dreamcatcher palette, and this is in the palette colors of Golden Horizons. I don't know if that made sense. The palette is called Golden Horizons, um, and I'm going to be using this white color. My room smells like pumpkin spice right now, thanks to this little gem right here. Next I'm going to take this really pretty gold color and put that in my crease as a transition shade. This eyeshadow look only takes literally like three colors plus that white, but like three other colors. And it is my new favorite look because it's so easy and it looks really like natural too. Now I'm not usually one for like a natural eye look. I kind of like like pinks and purples, like dark brown, but I really like this look. Next, I'm gonna take this really, really gold shade, and this just looks like honey to me. Um, I figured out, it's kind of a little more glittery than the other color, and I figured it out that I have to use my finger to apply it. Now, I'm not sure if that's just something with this color, like, I mean, in this palette, or if that applies to pretty much any glitter eyeshadow. I'm not sure. I've never really used a whole lot of glittery eyeshadows before. Um, but if I use a brush, it just does not have the same pigmentation that it does in the palette, so I have been using my finger for that. And then the last color that I have to use is this kind of matte brown shade, and I'm just going to put that in the um, outer corner and into the crease. Alright, so I have a little rant here. Um, the other day, I, well, I've been trying to grow out my nails for a long time, and every time I put on nail polish that isn't like a strengthening nail polish, my nails, they just want to break. So I've been trying to figure out how I could make them stronger so that they will continue to grow and then I can have pretty long nails. I went out and I bought a buffer, and while I was looking for this nail buffer, um, I came across like two different, well, a few different brands, but two that were really sticking out to me was one that was, um, like, the whole brand was called His. So it's already, like, a male-oriented brand of beauty supply stuff. And there was a nail buffer in there, and I looked at it, and it was a dollar, okay? And then I looked a few rows down, and there's a little more, like, feminine stuff, and there's a nail buffer for 182, okay? Why is a nail buffer different prices, especially if they're just for different genders? So I'm like looking at them and I'm like, why would I spend 82 cents more on one that's bright pink, neon, and orange and green? 
uh, when I could just buy like a black, white, and gray one, like all that is different is the color. So I'm looking at all the sides to see if there's anything different about them, like make sure they don't do different things. No, they're exactly the same. The men's one is actually bigger and it's just like it's branded for men and it's different colors. So what the heck? Like I don't understand why just because it's branded for men it's cheaper than something for women. It's, it's larger than the women's and it's cheaper just because it's for men. It does not make any sense to me. So I went with the men's one and I'm glad I did because I saved 82 cents. So then I like to take a little bit more of the gold and just kind of blend that back in because sometimes that brown tends to be a little overpowering. Kind of cancels out that pretty gold color. I actually lied. There are four different colors that I use for this, but technically one of them is kind of like a bronzer slash highlighter, so. Okay, so next for foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi in the shade Warm. It's for porcelain or light ivory skin says the number is W12. I never know like what exactly all that means. Like why is there so much there just for a foundation? I don't understand. It's just making my life more difficult. And then I'm just going to take a little beauty sponge and just blend that into my face. Oh no. And I am having a terrible breakout right now. I think it's just because like it's about that time of the month but it's it's making me angry. Because the only time that I have breakouts are this, like, this close to my time of the month. And, like, I don't change anything. I mean, maybe my diet a little bit because, like, I'm craving a lot of, like, sugar and chocolate. But, you know, who doesn't? Um, and, but, like, I wash my face the same amount. I am very diligent about skincare because I find it really intriguing, actually. Like, just, like, all the different things that, like, certain cleansers can do and stuff for your skin. So I'm very diligent about it. I don't typically miss a face washing, says the person who went to bed with their makeup on last night. But in my defense, I was kind of sick and felt like I was about to throw up. So that is why it didn't happen. Okay, so kind of have to admit something here. I am becoming a, I'm becoming addicted to plants. And I blame my job because it is making me want to buy plants all the time. Because we're getting all of our plants in for Valentine's Day right now. And it's making me crazy. I keep seeing like vases and plants and just all these different things. I really stay away from like fresh flowers because I don't want them to die. Um, so yeah. Plus I just like the look of plants in my house. And I feel like I just don't have enough. Okay, so next I'm going to be using this concealer. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair. Alrighty. Now, I have been like up and down with concealers. Like I have never been able to find a good one, really, unless it's like really expensive, obviously. But this is such a good concealer. And I just figured like, you know, everyone was talking about it and like, I just felt like, okay, is it really that good? Is it really amazing? And for some reason, like, I can usually buy into the hype of things and try them, but I never did with this thing. And I don't know why, because it's amazing. I wish I had bought into it sooner, instead of trying out a bunch of different concealers. I just feel like every concealer that I've ever tried... What is that mascara doing there? Every concealer that I've ever tried has just, um, not lasted very long. And, like, I just don't want to have to buy concealer every two weeks. So I'm really glad I found this because I probably had this for about two months now and it's not gone yet. So that's really amazing. And I always try to, with this concealer at least, I always try to blend everything else before I blend underneath my eyes because I feel like the longer, I read somewhere that the longer you let it sit, like obviously not with certain concealers, but the longer you let it sit, the darker it gets so the more it'll match like your skin tone and it'll work. And I figured that that really does work with this. All right, so next I'm going to be using this Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot uh, Translucent Mattifying Powder. 
this stuff is so amazing. This is the best powder I've ever used. If you've ever heard me say that this was like such a good powder and it's the best I've ever used, it was all a lie until now. This is the best stuff I've ever used. I feel like for dry skin, and I don't know, cause like I haven't ever had any other types of skin, I feel like it's just so hard to find makeup products that do not make your skin feel gross and sponge cakey at the end of the day. But this stuff really works. Next, I'm gonna go underneath my eyes with this light gold shade. So then I go back in with this gold and both of those colors I do underneath like the whole entire, like along my waterline. All right, and then I go back in with that dark brown color and I do that to about the middle or the outer corner. And then to finish my eyes, I take this Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and I take this color, Sunray, and I put that in the center of my eye just to glitter it up a little bit more. And then I take this shade Snow and I use that along my brow bone and in my inner corner. All right, so next I'm gonna be using this Wet n Wild contouring palette in the shade Dulce de Lich. Um, and I, at least right now, I've used both of the shades in this, um, but because one of them is more like a highlighting shade, I cannot get this palette open. You know, I was actually trying to open this the other day and my guinea pig bit me on accident. He thought he was chewing food. It turned out to be my finger. I was trying to open this up the other day and I actually reopened the cut and made it bleed. I use this darker contouring shade. The palette in particular is so hard to open. I've had this one before and it isn't difficult to open so it must just be like a flaw with the packaging or something. Don't really know, but I don't really care. I will continue to use it. So yeah, I'm just going to contour now with that, just like, you know, you would contour. Okay, so I never really like do my makeup with my hair down, but I feel like I look like such an egg with my hair up and I don't want to look like that on camera because, you know, you guys do not deserve to see me looking like an egg. Some experience. Not a good one at least. Now I gotta give myself a little jawline because don't have one naturally. Okay, and the reason I haven't blended my contouring yet is because I then like to bronze up a little bit with that same sunray shade that I used on the center of my eye. I must say, this Anastasia glow kit has really just changed my life for the better. I just freaking love it. Like, I mean, I don't know why it's called a glow kit. I, I always assume that glow kit would mean like a highlighting kit, but there are like three shades in here that I would never glow with. I like to take this big fluffy brush and just very messily blend that all in. Now for blush, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Hot Spice Palette and I'm going to use this color. I also take this NYX Strobe of Genius palette. This is actually like a highlighting palette, but I take this peachy kind of shade right here. And I like to just put that over the blush. Give it a little more bronzy, but like more of like a blushed bronze kind of look. And then to make sure that that is not crazy and super red looking, I just like to kind of go over that with that same fluffy brush I've been using. Curling my eyelashes gives me so much anxiety. All right, and then first I use this Wet n Wild eyelash primer. Okay, that was the eyeshadow, not the eyeshadow, the eyelash primer. I'm, no one give me a baby today because I will drop it probably. Next for mascara, I'm going to be using the Benefit They're Real mascara. I don't know if you guys remember, but a few weeks ago I said I was going to clean my room and I did. And it got pretty clean, but it seems like I always have a pile of crap on my desk. And it's stuff that I'm kind of using, but not all the time. Just like every now and then I use it. So I leave it there. And then I just wind up moving it back and forth to my bed and to the desk. Like when I have to use the bed to sleep or if I have to get on, like get to my desk to do my makeup or whatever. So I... 
I've been just moving crap back and forth. And then, like, the pile of crap increases, and there's more and more that I'm moving every day, and then pretty soon the pile is too big to fit on my bed and the desk, so it moves to the floor. And then I wind up with the space that I'm in right now, where I have stuff literally all over the floor, and it's making me crazy. So, do you guys have any, like, plans for Valentine's Day? I don't, except for working crazy long hours. I have that kind of plan, but don't have any other plans. But if you guys have plans, let me know. Um, I mean, I don't mind not having plans because I hate Valentine's Day quite a bit. The only thing I actually like about Valentine's Day is my work because I'm a florist, so it's pretty crazy and I thrive off of chaos and, like, um, pressure. Um, especially, like, when you're pressured for time and you people, like, doing all this, doing a bunch of different stuff. I love that. And I do really well under those situations. So, I'm really looking forward to Valentine's Day, but only because of work. But you would think most people, you know, they work with flowers or whatever, you know, Valentine's Day themed things. Like, you know, bakeries and stuff. Probably wouldn't enjoy it very much, but I really do. Okay, so next I'm going to be doing my brows because they need to be done. Somebody actually came up and told me the other day that I had really good brows. And I was like, oh my god, thank you for the lovely compliment. You know, most people just don't notice brows. I mean, unless you're like on the internet, I feel like people just don't notice your brows. But somebody did, and I felt so, so good about myself. Like, I've never really like put much effort into my brows, but seems that the little effort I put into them has paid off. Back into this palette we go. I'm going to take this light brown shade and this light gold shade and mix them together. And I use that for my eyebrows. And then I always start with the outer half. And I just kind of like lightly fill them in. I'm not a crazy brow person. I like them to look good, but I don't like, you know, spend 20-30 minutes on them either. And for highlighting, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And I mix, I don't mix them, but I do the Sunray shade first and the Snow shade second. And I was really hesitant to use that, like, more the Sunray ray shade at first for this. I wasn't sure how it was going to look. It was going to look a little too crazy. I didn't know. But I tried it, and I think it looks really nice. I don't know why, why I'm highlighting my forehead right now. I have huge zit up there. I don't want to highlight that. Now, the other day... Well, it was nighttime, and I was outside my mom's house, and she was standing outside with me, and she said to me, your highlight looks really nice, by the way. And I was like, oh my god, you can see my highlight in the dark? We're gonna do the lipstick. Now, with this look, I, I've never really been into the bold lip thing, at least not on me. I always thought it would look like shit, but it does not. So, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D... Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Double Dare. I almost forgot to use this e.l.f. primer and plumper. This, this is amazing. I feel like it really plumps up my lips quite a bit. <coughs> but not like too much where I'm like, oh my god, what the heck? Looks like I've been stung with it by a tracker jacker. Um, but the primer is amazing. Like that lipstick honestly lasts like all day anyway, but it lasts so much longer when you use this primer, which will come in handy when I'm working like 15 hour days the next week. Actually I have one more step because I feel like this lip color is a little a little too bold for this, so I don't know, I just got done saying that I like the bold lip. But I try to mute it just a little bit by using this Sheer Glow Blushing Babe highlighter in the brand Hard Candy. And I just like, it's like a liquid highlighter. So I like to take just a little tiny bit, put it on the center of my lip, and blend it in. Okay, so that is it for this video. Thank you for watching and listening to me ramble for probably 20 minutes. I'm hoping I can cut this down a little bit, but I know I filmed quite a bit. So thank you for watching and listening to this rambling mess. 
I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day and a great rest of your week. And I love you guys. Bye.